It's a place for all Canadians in Canada's game. Here's a lead pass to Tricep from Kane. Stop shot, save made. Flurry coming off a win over the Chicago Blackhawks. Yeah, they really took off once he took over, won four in a row. And in that game last night, I mean, they dominated that first period. But ended what? up being down one nothing by the end of it. Carolina coming in here after they played the Winnipeg Jets, and they dominated that game, in my opinion. Great performance by Laurent Brassois for Winnipeg in that one, and give the Canucks some credit. They found a way to weather the storm early on, find the scoring when they needed, then close it out in the end. But that was the first loss under John Hines in a game in which you look at and say, they most likely should have had a little bit better result. Didn't find it. The Vander Kane lead pass this time. Brown a shot, and that hit the side of the net. Brown reacted, thought it was in. But it hit the side of the net. And Louis, from your angle, that must have been a little difficult yeah. as well. Here's yeah. a drive by Brown and a save made by Fleury. That had a big hop. Rodine tried to fix it out of the corner. Eckholm bobbled it up, kept control, weaving, turning, firing, and another save made by Fleury. That's five shots on net. Fleury has handled them all. Great pinch down by Eckholm. McDavid. And that was towed aside by Fleur. For a moment, Freddie Gaudreau's on it for Minnesota, and he'll lob it a little behind Kulak. He's able to pick it up and fire a pass in. Oh, Gagne's blast save made by Fleur. A great surge up the ice by Darnell Nurse. Started with a great poke check in the defensive zone, sent the top four, and he just plowed through everyone. Here's a centering pass and a tough save on Hartman. Johansson around the boards, Freddie Gaudreau. Feathered back to the point, favor. Rossi a shot, and that's handled. By Skinner. Off the boards, cut off by Johansson, but rink wide. That's going to lead to a chance for Edmonton. Two on two, McDavid drop pass. And a drive blocked by Brodine. Here's Kuchard. Hits the trailer, and what another block. Middleton saved a certain goal. Nugent Hopkins finds Kuchard. Shoots and scores. Edmonton finally breaks through. One nothing. Continue to generate chances. McDavid off the rush has the first one. This one blocked. Recovery. It's Bouchard active up the ice that sends that to Nugent Hopkins. Another great chance. And then a beautiful pass by Nugent Hopkins as he finds Bouchard back door. Hesitates for a second. Gets the blocker to go down. Elevate up over top of the glove under the bar. Ten games in a row now for Bouchard with a point as he extends his streak. Connor McDavid with eight now, I believe. Out to the top of the circles. You complete a pass through that area, you're in trouble. Shot stopped by Flurry. 20 seconds left on the man walk, walk, advantage. Walk. One timer at home. A save. Rebound. Another save. Flurry. Shot by Nurse. Another walk. save. Mark Andre Flurry. Here's some great chances at the end of this period. And a couple of you were talking about that first one. Great save. Flurry dishes it out. Makes a second. That one by Nurse. Tried to elevate it. Some advice that put up a few points in the National Hockey League and from a defensive perspective, one of the best ever. Had a chance to chat. A, a shot taken by Faber, dropped in front and tucked home for the equalizer. No, Matt Boldy just tied it. We'll take a look here at how this happens. How does Eric Sinek get in that tight to Stuart Skinner? Now here it is here as he gets around and... Yeah, no, there's nothing there. I thought from the look at Stuart Skinner's face, now there was a stick that came in. We'll watch that, but this looks on first take like a clean goal, and he's just fighting on the edge of his crease, and it's a good job by Erickson. X strong stick to pound that puck over and win a battle, and Boldy funneling to the net, jams at home. No chance for Stuart Skinner. Didn't know where it was. 12th overall pick in 2019, number 12 dishes. What time is score? Eric Sinek off the rush, 2-1 Minnesota with two goals in the first 41 seconds. Well, I'd love to know what John Hines said between periods to this Minnesota Wild team because they have woken up in a big way in the start of this second period. Just off the entry, gets lost through the... The interchange, Eric Sinek, Boldy goes to the middle. You're going to see Eric Sinek kind of funnel through, and he's left alone for that split second. It's why you interchange as forwards. You're trying to make that happen, and it happens here. Rossi, he wheeled it up, and Minnesota able to convert off the rush. Nugent Hopkins, speaking about my pass, McDavid cuts in, waits, waits, tucks it home. Connor McDavid, a virtuoso game time. 2-2.
you just talked about it. Watch this. Nugent Hopkins finds him up the ice. It's a 2 on one As the Minnesota Wild get a little aggressive, but watch this patience. Stick handle, stick handle, get Fleury to bite. You know Mark andre Fleury's an aggressive goaltender, wants to come out and challenge. That's exactly what he does. But the patience, the skill of Connor McDavid to walk this around, tuck it home on the backhand side, and tie the game. What a response. I've been trying to elevate, and Fleury gets a toe on it. So a good decision, I think, not to shoot it. A steal and a denial of James Hamlin by Mark andre Fleury. Gagne a steal. Hartman stole it right back. Dewar around the boards. Hartman tucked it inside. Duhane out to the point for Faber. His shot off the kneecap of Gagne behind. Hartman in front. One timer score. It's 3 2 Minnesota. Some kind of finish. Fourth line of the wild doing some good things, and it's off the cycle. Using the back of the net, protecting the puck. Here's Duhane. With a nice read just to kind of hold on to it, find it. This puck's up for grabs again. Great play right there from behind the net. Just an excellent effort to get this puck out. And you're going to see this spinorama pass by Goudreau. And he finds Dewar in the high slot. And he just, Hartman, sorry, not. Bouchard, no shot, gets it back, fakes again. McDavid. Nugent Hopkins. What time or time? There's the exaltation. Three all. Brand new hockey game. Early on, they weren't able to isolate him and expose him. But watch this. They start to go back and forth around him. They know he doesn't have a stick. Getting a little bit closer each time. And eventually, they're going to find the one-timer for Dreisaitl. You can see this. Now they know that he doesn't have the stick. They're pretty confident holding on to that puck, creeping down the zone. And eventually, it's Dreisaitl. We talked about it. When he's sniffing, playing the way he's playing, it's only a matter of time. And it's a beautiful pass. Nugent Hopkins to Dreisaitl. Toledo doesn't have a stick, so five on three and a half again. McDavid tried to tuck it inside. It's clear, but not out. Bouchard knocked it down with poise. Dreisaitl, Nugent Hopkins firing. And on the rebound, got it to Dreisaitl. What time are piling at home? Bouchard, and Edmonton regains the lead. Four to three on a 97 mile an hour blazer. What makes this power play so successful? Snap it around, there's a block. Stay with it, put it into a corner, set it up again, and then look at that, the flyby screen. Felino trying to get into the way to block this blast by Bouchard. Maybe puts a little bit too much of a screen on the glove hand side. Spurgeon and Middleton trade. Trying to toss it in, but off the linesman. And here's McDavid with Nugent Hopkins. Centers Nugent Hopkins denied from the 39. McDavid to Nugent Hopkins. No! The Kaprizov trying to rake that puck free. Chiseling, carving, and finally dealing it. One wide open shot off the post from Hartman. Post after this battle here, and it was a long time in the corner. Finally digging out that bouncing puck. It was actually chopped by an oiler, I believe, trying to get it out of there. And it goes right to Hartman, that zinger. Able to nudge it back through center. Sent across. Steal by Ekholm. He was taken. They're letting him play. They'll finish with seven seconds. One last chance to Corello. Ditches what kind of save? Skinner at the horn. And the tips survive. He's going to boil over here. Four, and he makes his best save of the game because it stopped it from being tied. That one-timer kicks it away up into the air, and the final buzzer goes on a bouncing puck. Made another one for good.